Hi dear students, welcome to Geeta's classes. Uh, today we are going to see the topic directional derivative. Uh, so in this is the second class. Uh, so let us recollect whatever we have learnt in the first class. So in the first class I have told you, I asked you to remember uh, this symbol. What is this? Del. Uh, so del is denoted by del. This is the symbol and you have to remember this is an operator uh, which is defined given by i into dou by dou x plus j into dou by dou y plus k into dou by dou z. This is an operator. So if this del is operated on a scalar point function phi, it is known as grade phi or gradient of phi. What is this? i into dou phi by dou x plus j into dou phi by dou y plus k into dou phi by dou z. So this is what is uh, called gradient of phi. This is uh, this we have studied and we have done some problems also how to find out the gradient of phi in the previous class. So now let us see directional derivative. So it is uh, by definition it is the rate at which any function changes at any particular point in a fixed direction. It is a vector form of any derivative. So directional derivative of a scalar point function. So you will be given one function phi uh, at the particular point in the direction of unit vector n cap. So if one phi is given and the along which direction you are asked to find out the directional derivative that n cap will be given. So the formula is n cap dot grade phi. That is n cap dot what is grade phi? Del phi. Just now we have seen n del phi is i into dou phi by dou x plus j into dou phi by dou y plus k into dou phi by dou z. Okay. So now let us see the problem. So what is it now? The find the directional derivative of what is our phi now? Phi is equal to x y squared plus y z cube. This is what is given at the point 2 comma 1 minus 1 comma 1. In the direction of, so let us take a bar as i plus 2j plus 2k. So this is our del phi. So what is the required directional derivative? You have to find out that a cap dot del phi. Del phi is grade phi. Okay. So what is a cap now? Uh, a bar is given. So a cap is equal to a bar divided by modulus of a bar will give you the unit vector. Okay. So a bar by modulus of a bar. That is i plus 2j plus 2k divided by root of modulus. So will you find out root of the coefficient square. So 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 2 squared. That is root 9 in the denominator. Therefore you can write it as 1 by 3 uh, i plus 2j plus 2k. Uh, so this is our a cap. Now so for phi, what is phi now? x y squared plus y z cube. And p is the point at the point 2 comma minus 1 comma 1. You have to find out at the point 2 comma minus 1 comma 1. So del phi, let us uh, find out del phi. Del phi is what? i into dou phi by dou x plus j into dou phi by dou y. Uh, plus k into dou phi by dou z. So i into what is dou phi by dou x with respect to x you have to differentiate uh, partially that is uh, y squared plus j into what is dou phi by dou y uh, it is 2xy plus z cube right plus k into dou phi by dou z is uh, 3y z squared. Whenever you are differentiating partially with respect to one variable, you have to treat all the other variables as constant. Okay. So this is equal to. Uh, now this is our del phi. But we have to find out del phi at the point 2 comma minus 1 comma 1. So wherever you have y, replace it by 2. Wherever you get y, sorry, wherever you get x, replace it by 2. Uh, wherever you get y, replace it by minus 1. And z should be replaced by one. So if you substitute in this, what will you get? Y squared. So I 1 into I uh, minus 3J, right? 2XY, you will be getting minus 4 plus 1. So minus 3J, uh, then minus 3K. Substitute X equal to 2, Y is equal to minus 1 and Z is equal to 1. 
So this is our del phi at this one. So what is our now our directional derivative? It is given by a cap dot del phi. So let us find out the required directional derivative is equal to directional derivative is equal to a cap dot del phi. What is our a cap? 1 by 3 into i plus 2j plus 2k dot del phi is what? i minus 3j minus 3k. I minus 3j minus 3k. Okay. So this is equal to 1 by 3 into 1 minus 6 minus 6 that is minus 11 by 3 or you can say minus 3 2 by 3. This is the answer for directional derivative. So in this problem the directly uh, the derivative uh, in the direction of one vector was given. In the next question instead of giving that uh, vector you are given some other uh, clues that is uh, find the directional derivative of phi is equal to the function is given at the point p is equal to uh, 1 comma 2 comma 3 in the direction of the line pq. So instead of finding the instead of giving the direction they have given some clue that is pq where q is the point 504 and p is the point 1 comma 2 comma 3. So how will you find out pq? pq bar is equal to actually you have the vector O and uh, sorry you have the point O and the point P and Q. What is P? 1 comma 2 comma 3. Q is the point 5 comma 0 comma 4. Okay. It is in three dimension just for understanding I am writing this. So PQ bar I want. Okay. This we want. Uh, from the origin you can find out O Q. And you can subtract this. We want this portion. So uh, PQ bar is equal to you can write OQ minus OP. This uh, using the properties of vectors. Okay. So this is OQ minus OP. OQ minus OP means what? 5i plus 0j plus 4k. 5 comma 0 comma 4 from that. Right? OQ minus what is OP? I plus 2j plus 3k which is equal to 5 minus 1 so 4i uh, 0 minus so minus 2j then plus 4 minus 3 so plus k this is our pq so what is our pq a bar in the previous problem a bar was given no now we have found out that vector so 4i minus 2j plus k is our a bar so let us find out a cap now. A cap is equal to a bar by modulus of a bar which is equal to 4i minus 2j plus k divided by root of 16 plus 4 plus 1 right which is equal to root of 21. So root of 21 into 4i minus 2j plus k. This is our A cap. Now let us find out for del phi. Uh, now phi is the function x squared plus y squared min, uh, minus y squared plus 2z squared. So phi is given by, phi is given as uh, given function. So x squared minus y squared plus 2z squared. So what is our del phi? Differentiate partially with respect to x into i. Uh, so 2x into i. Minus 2y into j uh, plus 4z into k, right? So this is equal. Now del phi at the point p, that is 1 comma 2 comma 3, which is equal to, if you substitute, what will you get? 2i minus 4j, x equal to 1, y is equal to 2, z is equal to 3. Uh, so plus 12k, this is our del phi. So, what is the required directional derivative? Therefore, directional derivative is given by uh, 
uh, a cap dot del phi that is 1 by root of 21 into 4i minus 2j plus k dot what is our del phi 4i sorry this is our del phi right What is our a cap then? a cap is uh, 4i minus 2j plus 2k. Correct only. 4i minus 2j plus k. This is our a cap into uh, dot product with 2i minus 4j plus 12k. This is our del phi. Okay. So, a cap dot del phi. So, if you simplify, you will be getting 1 by root of 21 into 8 plus 8. That is i into i, j into j coefficients. You have to multiply and add. Plus 12. That is 28 by root of 21. So, this is our directional derivative. Is the problem over? No. One more uh, question is there. Also, calculate the magnitude of the maximum uh, directional derivative. And when I was teaching that uh, gradient, I told you. I have given you a note also. So, the directional derivative, where is it maximum? It is in the direction of normal to the surface, it is maximum. That is, along del phi, it is maximum. Okay. So, the directional derivative is maximum in the direction of in the direction of the normal to the surface. Normal to the surface. What is normal to the surface? How will you find out? Del phi. That is del phi. So sometimes you may be asked to find out the normal. If phi is given and if you are asked to find out the normal to the surface, you have to find out del phi. That is the meaning. Okay. And its magnitude will be the maximum. Right. Therefore, its magnitude is And its magnitude is modulus of del phi, which is equal to root of 4 plus 16 plus 12 square. That is 144. Therefore, root of 164. So, you can expect one definite question from directional derivative. Okay. Uh, in the next class, let us see another important topic that is... Uh, angle between the surfaces. Okay. Thank you for listening.